A perfect end to a painful week for Boris Johnson. He married Carrie Simons in secret with a small COVID compliance ceremony surrounded by close family and friends. It happened here at Westminster Cathedral, the couple's local Catholic church and the largest in the UK. A surprise for parishioners. It's lovely, lovely, lovely. For here, he got married yesterday in our church. Oh, lovely. Him getting married is good for him. Uh, it settles him down. He's got someone to go home to every day. Um, I just think it might also be good for his temperament. Although he's been married twice before, neither of the PM's previous weddings were Catholic, meaning this one was allowed. Their son was baptised here. Carrie's a practising Catholic, and so every Catholic has a right to get married in their local parish. They go to the priest, the priest has to determine whether they're free to marry, so they look at Boris Johnson's previous marriages and that they're not recognised uh, as Catholic marriages in the Catholic Church, and so they have, they're free to get married as they have been. Was it nice? Today, Boris Johnson's sister was saying nothing, as the messages of congratulation began. I want to congratulate the Prime Minister and uh, Carrie Simmons uh, on tying the knot. Figures from across the political spectrum have wished the couple well, although former Labour frontbencher John Trickett tweeted that Boris Johnson's secret wedding was a good way to bury this week's bad news. Before divorcing second wife Marina Wheeler, Boris Johnson started dating Carrie Simons, a former Conservative press officer and special advisor. Within months of moving into number 10, they became engaged and their son Wilfred was born last April. One of the Prime Minister's biographers argues a surprise wedding is typical. One of the features of Boris Johnson's unpredictable, unconventional life is he likes to surprise. He likes to take people uh, by shock. Uh, that has been one of his great qualities. He would be delighted in surprising those who thought he would never marry Carrie Simmons. Uh, and in exactly the same way, he's going to surprise us more in the weeks and months ahead. Uh, the question is always whether the surprise is for the benefit of the country or not. After yesterday's ceremony, a small reception was held in the Downing Street Garden with bunting, lanterns and a barefoot bride. The open-sided marquee, a teepee and a ring of hay bales were still visible today. It's not clear whether this building has been the venue for a wedding reception ever before, but Boris Johnson is the first Prime Minister to marry in office since Lord Liverpool in 1822, 199 years ago. Sources have, though, confirmed Carrie Simons will take her new husband's surname. She'll now be known as Carrie Johnson. The celebrations, though, are far from over. Mr and Mrs Johnson will host a larger wedding celebration and have their honeymoon next summer.